Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He is worthy. Yes, yes he Lord. Is. He is worthy. And when we come into this house, we need to come with thanksgiving and praise. Yes. And yes. when we come into this house with thanksgiving and praise, we need to bow down and worship Him. Yes. We need to bow down in our minds. We need to bow down in our spirit. We need to lay down who we are. We need to become a living sacrifice. For he is just that worthy. Yeah. Right. Yes, Does anybody Lord. Wanna acclaim that? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. First Peter, the fourth chapter, verses twelve through nine, nineteen, has been read to you, and I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation of the Holy Scripture. And it begins this way, dear friends. Don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through, as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad. Yeah. For these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering, so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. Yeah. So be happy. When you are insulted for being a Christian, for then the glorious spirit of God rests upon you. If you suffer, however, it must not be for murder or stealing or making trouble or praying into each other's people's business. Mm. But it is no shame to suffer for being a Christian. Praise God for yes. the privilege of being called yes. by his name. Yes, Lord. For the time has come. For the judgment, and it must begin with God's household. Yes. And if judgment begins with us, what terrible fate awaits those who have never obeyed God's good news? And also, if the righteous are barely saved, what will happen to the godless? I said, if the righteous yeah, 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 yeah. are barely yes. saved, come on, Pastor. What will happen to the godless sinner? So if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, keep on doing what is right. And not trust your lives to the God who created you. And trust your lives to the God who created you. For he will never fail you. Amen. 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 I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Beth. But the word says that I, I'm, I, if the righteous are barely making yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. Woe to the ones that are not even yeah. trying. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. I'm making this so good. i this real place. All right. So today my topic of discussion is entitled, It's Testing Time. All right, all right. The book of Peter Father God, lead me in the right way, God. Yes. Tame my tongue that I may speak on your behalf, God. Go inside me, deep inside of my spirit, Lord, in my yes. soul, in my mind, because I belong to you. That I may speak a word from on high for the people of God to understand that it's testing time. Yes. Yes. And that God help us to understand that we must withstand the test yes. if we are to be with you. And we thank you, Lord, in advance for what you're doing, and thank you, Lord, for giving me the power and the strength to preach this word today. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus name. amen. Amen. The book of Peter, written by the Apostle Peter, and Peter was crystal clear when he wrote this letter. He wrote this letter about 1900 years ago, and when he wrote this letter, he warned us that one day Jesus is coming back. Yes. Peter wrote this letter with right sense of mind, clarity, and was crystal clear about the fact that one day he didn't stutter, he didn't stammer. He said, Jesus is coming back yes. one day. Yes. And yet, even though Peter himself was crystal clear 
and expressed with clarity in the writings of the book of Peter. Today, here we are, 2015, and we're still waiting for the return of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. So as we wait, one may ask, was Peter right? Mm -hmm. Has God changed his mind? Mm -hmm. Is Jesus really coming back? Well, he is, yes. and I don't know when, but I do know that Paul, that Peter was right, Jesus is coming back. It may not be when you think he should. You may not think it's been taking him too long, but he's coming back. Yes. You ought to thank God he's yes. taking his time. Yes. You ought to praise God yes. he's taking his yes. time. You see, because the writing is on the wall. Yes. For the Holy Word of God is real clear. The Holy Word of God clarifies and directs us to the signs of the time. A time in which lawlessness run rapid, where war fills the globe and drought and famine surround us. In fact, it's in our backyard. And these signs are signs of the time. Yes. There are yes. the times of violence is right now. Disobedient to parents is on the rise. Yes. Now you got folks who want to shut the church down because we're too noisy. Yes. Uh -huh. The sound yes. of the times is here. Right. A time we see no one is going to be exempt from. That's right. No one That's can, right. is going to be able to yes. skate through these times. Yes. Nobody's going to get a pass. Not even the righteous. Yeah. Right. 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 This is the time where we see that no one is exempt from the worry and the anxiety and the suffering in these pointed and clear last days. Peter was absolutely right. The old covenant has been fulfilled and the new covenant is in place. Mm -hmm. God is in the last stage of dealing with his people and dealing with the unrighteous. Yes. Right. This is testing time. Yes. 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 This is the time Peter was directing to us. Um, yes, okay. Um, as we live in these times, we need to make sure that we're living to please God. Yes. We're not yes. living to please ourselves. Yes. As we live in these times, be careful how you live. Yes. For as the times escalate, worries and troubles do too. All right. yes, yes, and if yes, you yes. wasn't ready yesterday, hey. how are you going to be ready today? Come on, it now. just Come went on, up. Now. You went to sleep. Yeah. Praising God and woke up and found out that they don't want you to pray. It yeah. escalated overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For as the times escalate, the worries and the troubles escalate. Yeah. And those that call themselves the people of God who strive to live righteous life will experience this time. In other words, Peter says this in your Bible. Look at it. Do not be surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you oh, right. What happened? Why are you wrong? Oh, what happened to me? Oh, God, how did I get oh. wrong? <laughs> Peter says, do not be surprised at the painful trials you are suffering as if something is strange. Yeah. You didn't yeah. hold this. Why are you acting like, what happened? <laughs> Nobody told me. Right. How come I'm going through this? Uh -huh. I do the right thing? Yeah, you do. But you live in a world hey. that don't. That's right. Don't be surprised at the painful trials you're suffering as something strange were happening to you. These are the times yes. of chest testing. Yes. Yes. The rough times you're experiencing right now, the struggle to hold your family together, the sense of feeling left out and far away from God, the trouble with trying to dodge lies that are spread about you, the church is under direct attack. Mm -hmm. You can't even praise God without people in the neighborhood mm -hmm. complaining that your praise is too loud. Mm -hmm. 
and yet they let the people with the gang banger filth and nasty music yeah, that yeah. degrades women, yeah. their mama and their grandmama blast freely through the streets yeah. and they too afraid to say anything. These are the times that we're living in. Yeah. A time that you should not, as Peter said, Think is strange and mm -hmm. ask yourself yes. what's happening. Mm -hmm. You want to know what's happening. Right. Mm -hmm. These are testing times. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Don't be surprised that the faithful as you knew would find themselves suffering as though they were unfaithful, as yes. though they had done something wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are the times that through your suffering, though, you'll become heirs with Jesus in the suffering unto the kingdom. See, you can't get to the kingdom on a skateboard. That's you right. Can't get to the kingdom. Come on, Pastor. Stop skipping yeah. and jumping. Yeah. You've got to get to the kingdom fighting. Yeah. That's how you get into the kingdom. You've got to fight right. your way yes. right. to the kingdom. you got to fight your way into prayer. Yes. you got to fight your way into worship. Yes. you got to fight your way to do right. Yes. you got to fight your way to keep hope. Yes. you got to fight your way to keep your faith. That's how you get into the kingdom. You can't just roll up That's into right. the kingdom That's without right. a scar. Hey. Jesus didn't roll That's up right. into the house of the disciples. He had scars yes. in him. Yes. He showed that he had gone through the fight. Yes. You don't want to show your Yeah. 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 Yeah.
give up, slow down, no cool way. down, change our direction, mm -hmm. and just play and stop yeah. when things get hard. We don't yeah. want nobody to even step on our toe. We don't, yeah. we don't want nobody to say nothing wrong to us. We want everything to be beautiful. Right. And we want roses and songs and birds. Right. But I got news for you. Your theme song shall not be made. Hey. Come on, Pastor. some choir singing after you, and uh, uh, you encouraging you to stay in the truth, uh, the way in the light. No, your theme song may be hard. Yeah. Your theme song may be something you don't even want to hear. Yeah. Your theme song may mean I'm struggling today. Yeah. How do I get over? Yeah. How do I stand? Yeah. How do I make it? How do I get to the kingdom? Somebody needs to tell them that I'm leaning yeah. on the yeah. everlasting yeah. arm. Yeah. And have unmovable strength. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ah, when you move, how do you yeah. know what you missed? Yeah. You may have been right where God wanted you to be. Because yeah. yeah. remember what I said, you gotta suffer oh, yeah. for him to say it's time to stop. Yeah. Ah, right. ah, send the yeah. Yeah. So as we get close to these days, mm -hmm. Peter was absolutely right. Yeah. Stop acting like you didn't know it was coming. That's right. That this suffering That's is right. something strange and unusual. Yeah. We've been suffering. In fact, Jesus yeah. suffered yes. for our name, for his name's sake. Amen. Amen. Right. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. when many run into difficulties, they get depressed and they point the finger and they accuse others and they blame everybody for why they're not in church. Have you ever met folks like that? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You call them to pray for you, and then they blame everybody yeah. from the song to, yeah. the, to the preacher <laughs> to the person that looked at them. They, 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 they accuse people. They stop praying. And what happens is nothing to do with you. Uh -huh. Nothing to do with the pulpit. Yeah. Nothing to do with the music. Yes. But what they have done is they've allowed their trials to overcome them. Yeah. They've allowed the difficult times that they're in to destroy their optimism mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That's, that's they no true. longer have that opti mm -hmm. uh, optimistic view of the Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. They become pessimistic, mm -hmm. yes. doubting. Yeah. Yeah. They've lost their joy. Yeah. They're broken. Their, their brokenness has even gotten lower. Peter was right. These are those times. Mm -hmm. But you may want to ask yourself, what are you doing in these times? Yeah, yeah. The question of Peter's time is the same question that we need to ask today. Can I rejoice? Not of the pain and the difficulties, but rejoice that my trials have a remedy, and that remedy is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I yeah. love Jesus as much as I say I love Jesus, yeah. then I'm okay with my trials yes. leading me yes. closer to Jesus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I need to ask myself if that's going to be enough for me, Jesus. Mm -hmm. During my time of trials, is he really going to be enough or do I need more? Mm. Do I need more to make it through? Do I need affirmation from somebody? Confirmation from somebody? A pat on the back from an old enemy? What do I need? Is Jesus enough? <laughs> or will I blame it on everything and everybody when I'm going through my child's Rather than leaning on Jesus, will I tell the truth and just simply say, guess what? It was me. Yeah. I got oh, distracted. Go. I go. got turned around. But I'm not going to turn around and stay turned around. Oh, I'm just ready to get my That's position. right. That's right. That's right. <coughs> the question of Peter's time is the same today. Can I rejoice mm -hmm. in difficult times? <laughs> See, because if you can rejoice when you're going through something, yeah, 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 yeah. then Satan has no hold. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Say that. That's right. Say that. Because see, Satan yeah. don't grab hold of joy. He grabs hold of depression. Yeah. He grabs hold of frustration. Yeah. He grabs hold of disappointment. Yeah. And he polarizes it. He makes it bigger yeah. than what it really is. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say something to you you don't like. And Satan said, but 
they've been saying that. They think 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 Yeah. 
judgment begins with the family of God. In other words, you ought to expect difficult times yes. because the season of testing is here. Yes. And we're in the end of days. Yes. Yes. But you're not alone. Mm -hmm. The world may be alone, but you're not. Yes. You will share in the victory with those that have made themselves available in yes. the living sacrifice. Yes. I'm saying this. You hear the word living sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Not a dead sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That means you got to be alive to go through yeah. your suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You got to, you got to, you know, you got to be alive you know. to go through your You are living. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful what you ask for. Yeah. You are living yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. Holy and pleasing. Yeah. That means that while you are alive, yeah. you feel like a sacrificial man. Yeah. Bible, 
in the word of God. Yes. Verse 14, he says, so be happy yes. when you are insulted for being a Christian. Okay. For then the glorious spirit of the God rests upon you. You become an heir, a co-partner, because they ridiculed him. Yes. And the spirit of a heavenly God rested upon him. Yes. But it tells you also, it warns you, don't think that if you're doing something wrong, that you can say you're suffering for God, because that's not what he's talking about. That's not what he's talking about. But 16 says, but it is no shame to suffer for being a Christian. Praise God. Look at this for the privilege of being called by his name. Blessed be the name of Jesus. The privilege of being called a son of God. You go over to England and meet those royal families. It's a, you can't even name yourself after them without their permission. Because it's a privilege to be a part of the royal family. But here in the United States of America, and particularly in Oakland, mm -hmm. on MacArthur Boulevard between 106 and 107, hey. there is a royal priesthood. Hey. Yeah. Will you pass the test? Amen. 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 